Hope you're having a great Sunday, and thanks for logging on to your Aggieland Carpet One forecast. I'm meteorologist Crystal Plone. Now, currently, temperatures are a little bit on the warm side, but we also have some showers and thunderstorms on radar. We're seeing those temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, and the reason why we're this warm is because we've seen a lot of sunshine throughout the day. We were expecting to see more cloud cover, but instead we saw sun, which made our temperatures increase into the mid to upper 70s. It probably feels a couple of degrees warmer than that, though, because things are definitely humid. Now, our winter Winds are out of the southeast between 5 to 15 miles per hour, and if you're currently experiencing a thunderstorm, then these winds will increase just a little bit. Here's what our radar looks like at the moment. These storms are moving off towards the north. With it, you can expect some lightning, some heavy rainfall, and maybe some gusty winds at times. These storms are taking their time moving north, so they're not moving very quickly. They're not severe at the moment, but they will continue throughout the rest of the evening and into the early morning hours as well. So just keep that in mind if you do have any plans later on this evening. But across the state of Texas, we're currently dealing with that moisture moving off towards the north. But if you look off towards west Texas, there's a big line of showers and thunderstorms. A few of those storms are severe at the moment. That line is what we're watching to get to the Brazos Valley early on Monday morning. So this will be between the hours of about 3 to 7 o'clock in the morning. With these storms, we're not expecting them to be severe, but they could be a little bit on the strong side when they come through. We would see some lightning, hear some thunder, some heavy rain, and of course those gusty winds. So here's what things look like. We'll keep a 40% chance of rain in the forecast for the rest of the evening tonight. And then this is what it looks like at midnight. That line gets closer to the area passing through San Antonio and Austin. It officially gets to Brazos County at around 3 o'clock in the morning, and then by the time we get to 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, that line should be mostly out. It will start to weaken as it moves off towards the east also, but that's going to be our main threat. We expect strong winds with this. We expect some heavy rainfall and some lightning, so if you do hear thunder, this is what's going to be causing it. So then after that line moves through, we'll have a break in the rain, so we may see some sunshine here and there through the morning, but then as we head into the early afternoon and the evening we do have rain chances back in the forecast so because of that we'll keep a 40 percent chance of rain for the rest of your Monday and then we'll have another break in the rainfall and then Tuesday is when we have a little bit more moisture come into the area so we introduce another rain chance for your Tuesday so again just keep an eye on the radar overnight tonight we're expecting temperatures to get into the mid to upper 60s so very humid and very warm showers and thunderstorms will continue overnight tonight a 40 percent chance for now but then we increase it to about 50 or 60 percent for early Monday morning. Again, that's between 3 a.m. and about 6 o'clock in the morning. Highs tomorrow should get in the upper 70s, close to 80 degrees if we do see that sunshine. And then for the rest of your afternoon, a 40 percent chance of rain with a 30 to 20 percent chance throughout Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Saturday, we have a 20% chance of rain as well, but at that point, we do have a cold front moving through. We'll have to figure out how much moisture is associated with that if we do have to increase that chance. But for now, stay dry. Keep an eye on the radar with us, of course. You can always log on to Facebook for your latest radar updates, but if you want the live radar, go to kbtx.com weather, and you'll have the radar there. For now, hopefully you stay dry and have a good rest of your evening.